Let action. I was doing the love machine thing, but good for you. You would look a little bit like Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber with your hair like that. Bangs are not for you, sweetie. Welcome everybody to our final morning Musume member thing of the year. Thank you guys so much for following us all year long and on this journey. On this journey of us talking about our favorite Morning Musume members in order and thank you guys for participating and as our very final episode of this year until we get into the new year I'm not sure what that was supposed to be How it looked that? a little pretentious How's that one? Solidarity <laughs> um, As our final video we're going to be talking about who our dream Morning Musume would be since you sleep way too much we're going to start with you and you can tell us who your dream Morning Musume is that's a lovely Jim Carrey Grinch face right there. My dream morning with mate consists of ten members, since the assignment was to pick. Was it you said eight to ten? You said eight, eight to or ten. eight to ten, and I chose twelve precisely. So my ten members are, and before I say, I'm going to preface that uh, as far as the whole career of morning with me goes, and I am pretty well acquainted with the whole singles, A-sides, B-sides career of Morning Musume. I tend to favor their more recent sound. I think Sunku's found a style that is actually relevant. Finally, he's achieved some semblance of relevancy after all these years. Um, and it's it's kind of music I like to listen to. So I had to kind of think about who could sing the current songs that Morning Musume is doing, maybe with a little more oomph than the current lineup and a little bit of my own personal bias went into it. So, with that in mind, um, my top tier members are, and this should come as a surprise to no one and you're probably already saying it under your breath, Reyna. You're gonna rip her out of Lovendor? I'm gonna rip her out of Lovendor. I'm going to save her from Lovendor. I am going to give <laughs> Lovendor to, what's her face? What's her name? Marina. Marana. Marina. <laughs> Makatoko. Makoto. Ayomi, whatever. You are terrible. Is. I don't know her name. Marina. Marina. I'm gonna give Love and Door to Marina and it's gonna become a successful rock band because she's actually a rock singer. If the top tier four top five members are like the top tier, like there's a queen, a, two royal advisors, and um, grand viziers or something. Something like that, okay? Um, Reina would be the jester. No, Reina with is... With an overpainted face. I think Reina is a... She's White a, line she's under a, the black. She's a council member. She's a grand council member. <laughs> um, uh, next to her, also in a place of grand council membership, would be uh, Sayumi. Now, we are assuming that she would come out of her reclusiveness yes, to do this. Yes, her reclusive retirement. She would cancel it for this, because it, this is something to cancel it for. Next, um, the royal advisors <laughs> would be... Um, I Chan, Canon, because she's got a banging voice, and she's gonna be the youngest person that I put in this Dream Morning Musume. It's gonna kind of be like, you know, how like all the the actual Dream Morning Musume members were in their like mid to late twenties, and then there was Kaharu at like twelve, <laughs> like stumbling around the stage, going, "I'm, I'm no, here she's too." Like nineteen. Well, whatever. She was twelve. She was a fetus. But I'm gonna put Canon there because I think she has a ele eleganza beyond her years. And I think that her voice is just too banging, and I think she cares enough about the group to take it somewhere. On the outskirts, they're still very important, obviously, this is Dream Morning Musume. I'm going to, and this was really, this, these two were easy for me, Lin Lin and Jun Jun. Of course. Of course. Lin Lin has a voice, the voice of a generation, uh, and she can't be denied. Uh, Jun Jun did not have the voice of a generation, but she was a great member, and she tried really, really hard, and she contributed a lot. And I think she would add a fun dynamic to my dream morning musume. My next two, I originally wanted to put Yossi and Abe, but I realized that neither of them really have the voice to carry the current songs. Abe's voice mm -hmm. is too, you know, Abe could have sung the hell out of Looking Back Beauty. Mm -hmm. But then she has a, ba a ballad voice, but I don't know if she has the current genre pop voice right. that Sunku she doesn't. She is just, writing, or that whoever is writing Sunku's music. I know, is writing I know he's not writing everything right now. <laughs> she just doesn't have the right balance for it, and so I love Abe, but I just don't know if she can actually be in. Yossi, Yossi could probably handle it. 
Yossi handled the first Dream Morning Musume. So, I'll keep Yossi in. And then, I really want Eri back in. Because I really liked Eri. I didn't give her a lot of attention or credit at the time, but I do really like Eri. And I do realize that she was a pretty invaluable member. So Eri is back in. I really like Ayumi. Something about her. I know she doesn't contribute much beyond the dancing, but damn it, we need a dancer. We need somebody to do some sassy dancing while all the other girls sing their hearts out. So I'm going to pull dance. Ayumi in. And of course the queen, the leader of My Dream Morning Musume, and this I'm guessing is probably going to actually surprise you a little bit, is of course Nigaki Risa. What? The reason for this being, if I was going to sift through all the members of Morning Musume that had come before, if I was going to create a new Morning Musume group, I would want somebody to be the leader of that group who genuinely cared about its future, who it was important to them that they do well, and who believed in Morning Musume as a group. And, and could really make Nippon uh, Morning Musume no Mirai, whoa, 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 whoa. Precisely. <laughs> and I honestly, as much as I love all these other girls, as much as I say, you know, Rain is my goddess, Sayumi's my goddess, where's Abe, Yossi's sexual, all that, nobody loved Morning Musume as much as Gaki did. And I feel like... Except Sunku. <laughs> I don't think Sunku loved Morning Musume. If he loved Morning Musume, he would have tried harder. Because <laughs> if you love me, baby, you gotta, gotta, gotta... Okay. Um... <laughs> So I think nobody believed in or loved Morning Musume more than Gaki, and I feel like if you're gonna have some sort of like Super Momosu, Holy Grail, Silver Crystal, Silver Millennium Morning Musume lineup, you need to have Gaki in charge of it. She needs to be the Sailor Moon of the group. Usagi! Usagi! Uh, and that's... I stand by that, because I feel like anything with Nigaki as the leader will succeed. I agree. And that is, my, that is my dream Morning Musume. So, my dream Morning Musume, I tried to organize by generation. And so I think I'll, I'll start from the bottom working... Or should I start from the leader down? Like, first gen down to... No, start with, start with... Start backwards? Start with the, the outer members and then work okay. your way to the leader like I did. So. I would pull Sakura from the 11th generation, the only member of course. Because I think that with the proper motivation and drive, I think she would really succeed and thrive in Morning Musume. But because I think she is almost like, has like a Reina factor where she knows that she's better than everybody else. She doesn't really try. And I think that if Sakura was in a situation where others were challenging her, she would really explode in the group. And I think that she would provide a nice balance between young members and the older members as far as like generation wise and that is um, kind of coinciding with some of the other newer members that I chose from the 10th generation I chose Ayumi as well because I think that she's a really fantastic dancer and I think a lot of the other girls that I chose for the group are not really technical dancers and I think that Ayumi being in the group would really help push them to want to dance better and to really have a nice mix of both good vocals and strong dancing and I would want Ayumi to be like the face, the center, not maybe not as far as vocals but like kind of where Rika was where she was always in the center spot but she didn't sing everything she was just there and she was that face that you saw first when the music face video started. I think that Ayumi has, has, has a very pretty distinct look and I think that she would represent the group well as far as like the head person. From the ninth generation I chose Zuki as well because I think that she has one of those voices that is perfect for those older generations where talent was something that was expected to be there the moment you got into the group and not something that would be taught and that would grow on you <laughs> because you had something underlying in all of that which I think a lot of these current members they had something when they came in but they weren't quite there it took them some time where Zuki has always consistently been on point and perfect since day one. Mm. So I think that in a group where she was matched equally with girls who could sing, excuse you, fuck you, just as much as she was, I think that she would blossom beyond complete and total belief and I think that she would sound fantastic and I would want her as one of the center vocalists. From the eighth generation, I chose Aika! I'm just kidding. I didn't choose Aika. I chose Lin Lin and I would like her to be the third main vocalist because I think that her voice is just fantastic. And like I think butter. that it's, it's butter. 
And I also chose June June because June June may not have had a great singing voice, but she had an amazing personality. And with all these girls who have fantastic personalities and great singing voices and all this, I think that June June really was just like 110 million percent personality and she brought her A-game every single time and she tried and that's what I really would like in the group someone who could be like Ayumi who could represent the group in a fun way but not necessarily take like leadership of it so that's why I chose Jun Jun and also with her and Lin being in the group we could get Ameno Furanai as another song that they could sing and they could sing Guru Guru Jump and those songs are important to me and I want them to sing them. From the sixth generation, I borrowed Miki because I think that she has a very strong voice and I think when she sings in group lines, she really bulks up the vocals. And I also took Eddie because I love and adore her so much and I would like her to be the second main vocalist because her voice, a lot like Lin Lin's, is just like butter and it's so sweet and perfect so and just... I really want her a part of that group and I would have some kind of magic wand that I can cure her skin conditions that she wouldn't have to worry about it at all. And oh. she could just perform and have fun and not have to worry about her skin. Also, she perfectly blends with my next member, who I took from the fifth generation, which is Gaki, who would be my number one main vocalist. She would be the absolute center of all of the vocals because I think Gaki has a very versatile voice. She can sing anything and she puts 110% million ten percent into everything and I think that she's just spectacular in every sense of the word and she's a true musume so I would want her in the group just because she's perfect also from that generation I would like to take Ogawa because I think that she has really underappreciated underused vocals and I think that her voice is really nice and fun to listen to and she would be a great love interest for the next member that I would bring in from the fourth generation, Yossi. Because how could you have Yossi and have her sing Mr. Moonlight without having Ogawa in the group? I would like Yossi in the group because she just has such... You are judging me so hard, I need you to stop it. She has, Yossi has a really great voice, I think, when she is in ranges that work for her. But I think she's a lot like Junjun where she has just tons of personality. And I think that she's one of those wild card members, like how she was in Sakura Gumi, where maybe she didn't completely fit in with the other girls vocally, but there was something that worked about it. And that's what I would want for her in the group, is to kind of be that wild card, use wherever her voice would use fit. Use as needed. Exactly. I would want, from the second generation, Yasuda K, because she oh. has probably one of the most perfect voices that has ever existed in Morning Musume. She has an incredible range, and she can do harmonies like no one else that has ever been in the group. And I would want her to be the sub-leader and do all of the harmonies. And then for my leader, I would choose none other than Momosu's very first old, 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 old leader, Nakazawa Yuko. Because I think that she was a great leader, and I think she was the... She's the reason why Morning Musume took off. If she hadn't been the leader of the group at the time, I don't think they would have been where they're at now. Beyond that, her dynamic in the group was just always really interesting, and I think her dynamic with some of the younger members would be really fun to watch. You know, I, al I almost wanted to put Yuko in... But I just don't know if I would subject her to all that again. <laughs> I think she really enjoyed being in the group, and I, and I, I would want her to be in there She's again. She's finally married. She turned me down. She'd be like, fuck no. If, if she decided been not wiped. to. <laughs> I've been wiped. I'm staying home. Suku can shove it up his ass sideways. If any of the girls chose not to, I would... My understudies would be Ida, hmm. and I would... Pull Goto, if I could. I thought you were I just going to say Ida. My understudies would be my Ida. Under understudies would be Ida and Ida and Ida. It would be Ida, Goto, Rika, Aichan, and Sayumi would be my go-tos if no one else could come in. And I might, might, might consider talking to Mizuki and Kudo. So we asked you guys to tell us who your Dream Morning with Spain members were and who you would like in your group. And so Jacob and I are going to respond to those. XX Earthbull, I like your Dream Morning with Spain 
because you have a, a kind of nice blend of some of those classic early members with some of the newer ones. And I like that you included Sakura and Kanon because I think those are the two most talented members right now in Morning Musume. And I think that they would work really well with some of those older generations of girls. And so I like your group that you chose. Inko TV. I like yours. It's... But for a few, it's pretty much mine, isn't it? You have Sakura instead of Jun Jun. MD Maple, I like... I like your group. I appreciate that you relegated certain people to certain things. <laughs> um, <Rita. coughs> I, I appreciate me. that you, you know, I, I just have the mental image of Sunku sitting them all down in a row and just pointing going, You! You will sing! You! You will never sing! You! <laughs> work the personality! Work the titties! You! Why are you here? I just... <laughs> I like that that's that you had specific roles for them to play. And I like that your group is basically a mix of the Platinum Era, like half the Platinum Era, half the Colorful Era, and then Yossi. Just because cats. Because Yossi. Because Yossi. What do you need a reason for? I think it's interesting that there are so many people that have chosen Sakura as someone who they would choose from these newer generations. Sakura and Canon, and I think that really speaks volumes about who they are in the group right now and what people would like to see from them. Daughter of White, I like that you broke down your Morning Musume members into categories and what they would do. And I also like your wild card, Yossi, that we both had the same thought of her being a wild card. Very much, again, I'm going to reiterate, like it was in Sakura Gumi, where she was like that one that was chosen oh. because she's just Yossi. I appreciate you, Miyuki Aiko? Aicho? Because you focused almost a little bit more on personality. Did it just beep at me? No. You focused a little bit more on personality, I feel, than necessarily on like favorites or singing talents. Though you did mention, you did pick some very awesome singers. I like that you focused on personality because the greatest group in the world is only as good as they are in the public eye. You know, if they have no personality, what's the point of them? Ran Girl, I do want to know why you chose Koharu. I feel like she's one of those members that sticks out in a really awkward way, but that's just me. So if, if you see this, please let us know why specifically you chose Koharu, because I would really be interested in hearing about that. Because I feel like Claire Koharu is not very popular. A lot of people don't really like her. And you do. So why? I would love to know. I wish we could sit and go through every one of your your choices and your lineups. Unfortunately, then this would be like an hour-long video, and that's just kind of awkward. But I encourage you to go read everybody's comments below and look at their... Um, and the last their, video. And the last video, and look at their uh, lineups that they chose, um, and then you can kind of cross-reference their lineups with our comments about them. Uh, because you guys picked some really good ones, and I appreciate that so many of you actually um, sat down and took the time. That out. I like it. That means a lot. It's a lot of comments, and that always that always makes us feel good. And thank you guys for watching. It's the end of the year, end of a new, another another series for us, another Morning Musume series. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sticking by us and for watching us. We really appreciate you all. And um, it's funny because I don't think when we started doing this with you know, the first morning was me. I don't think it was anything more than a way, an excuse for Jeremy to force me to listen to his favorite group. <laughs> and it's just interesting. Not untrue. <laughs> not, not a false statement. Uh, maybe uses blackmail later. You liked them at one point. Um, and who would know? All these years later, three years later, three series. We've done three series: mm -hmm. A sides, B sides, and and then members. Members. That here we are. Here I am. With these bitches on my iPod. Still here. Shit. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Subscribe, like, comment more. Um, I don't know if we have something planned for the new year yet. Um, maybe. I'm still thinking. But um, if you guys have any ideas of what you would like to maybe see us do, um, let us know. Do you want to see more of us talking about members, talking about music videos, A-sides, B-sides. I personally um, considered albums. Whole albums. Album songs. Um, maybe focusing on media appearances or concerts even. Uh, or and, and within that, do you want to see uh, more of just us sitting here talking? Do you want to see more of 
uh, Sunku and Roman and maybe even Mariko. Let us know what you want to see for uh, the new year and we'll see what we can do to make your dreams come true. <laughs> see, I tied it all in. You did. More that was good. Say, it all comes together. That was good. I like Thank it. You. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you all next year. Hey! Happy New Year! Happy early. New Year! A little bit early. It's like three days. Three days. Right? Uh, Wednesday's New Year's Eve, right? Yes. Thursday is New Year's Day. It's just a couple days away. <gasps> Happy New Year's around the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.